We got early projections in for the upcoming Hunger Games prequel starring Rachel Zegler that's set to come out next month. And going by what they're saying, it doesn't necessarily look too good for it. But at the same time, it's not necessarily a death nail per se. Uh, and let me explain what I'm talking about with this. So I got Box Office Pro pulled up and it has the numbers that it's actually projecting for it. And for this Hunger Games movie that's set to come out in November uh, 17th, it's saying around 35 to $45 million domestically during its opening weekend, with around 90 to $142 million domestically during its entire theatrical run. So, okay, uh, that is something. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad. I mean, it kind of sounds a little low, but the good thing about having franchise movies like this, you can compare it to other movies within the franchise to kind of get an idea of, like what, you could expect from this and comparing this to other movies in the hunger games franchise it's not looking too good uh right now every other one this is pulled up on box office mojo it says uh the first movie made 152 million dollars domestically during its opening weekend with the lowest grossing one being the last one if you can believe it was 102 million dollars domestically catching fire the second one in the franchise made 158 million dollars uh during its opening weekend so yeah Every movie within this franchise has not made less than $100 million here in its opening weekend. This one, it's saying around $35 to $45 million, so that's pretty bad. Uh, and yeah, that would be quite significantly low for a Hunger Games movie. But like I said, it's not necessarily a death nail for it because a lot of this is also predicated on how much did they spend on this movie. And going back to Box Office Mojo, you can see the budgets for all these movies. Uh, the first Hunger Games movie had the smallest budget at $78 million. It's like, okay, well, but you got to keep in mind, this was back in 2012. If you adjust for inflation, uh, $78 million would be closer to $105 million. Uh, let's just round it down, say $100 million for this. So what did they spend on this movie? The fact is we just don't know yet. That it hasn't been revealed what the budget for this upcoming Hunger Games prequel is. But let's just say they only spent like $80 million on it. Uh, then so it basically it'd be the least expensive Hunger Games movies, which could be understandable because this came out where these were also part of a franchise that was building off of each other at the time. So I can see them like if they wanted to kind of like revitalize it, they'll spend a little bit less on this. So let's say they only spent $80 million on this and also gave it a very, very modest marketing budget of $20 million, which that's virtually nothing for people who don't know what. Uh, like movie like Shazam 2, for instance, they spent $70 million to market that movie. And a lot of people were saying like it pretty much felt like they didn't even market it at all because 70 million is very, basically nothing for this. I mean, 100, 150 is kind of what you'd expect for these big budget movies. But let's just say they only gave it 20. So basically nothing. Just put out a few commercials and a trailer and that's about it. So, OK, that means they're invested $100 million into this movie. And since the theaters take around 50% of the box office, that means this need, needs to make $200 million in order to break even. So uh, 90 to 100, it, let's just also increase this amount to, let, these projections are low, so let's say it makes, it's $100 million and the low end of this, uh, looking at box office mojo again, you can see globally, uh, they make around half of their uh, revenue through overseas markets. So, all right, so it makes, uh, hundred million dollars domestically another hundred million dollars at the global box office so 200 total all right it can break even and like, assuming that they're really they're spending less on it than the first hunger games movie they gave it like virtually no marketing budget and uh even if it's at the low end of the estimates and yeah it could break even uh if it's at the high end of the estimates then it's actually doing pretty well of course that's assuming that they spend so little on this uh because we don't know what the budget is Realistically, it's probably going to be somewhere in the middle of the road, but let's just go to the next lowest one, $125 million they spent on it. And let's just up the marketing budget a little bit and say that they're spending $50 million. Again, that's like nothing for marketing, but let's just say they spent $50 million. That means it's $175 million they're invested into it, which means they'll need to bring in around $350 million at the global box office in order to be considered a success. And even if this was at $150 million and make another $150 million overseas, that's still only $300 million. So that's not a good look for it. I mean, maybe the executives kind of looked at some of these other figures for the previous ones and be like, look how much it made. Uh, 
755, uh, 653, uh, 694. I mean, they probably looked at this and be like, yeah, if we can spend 125 million, give it another 50 million budget, we can make our money back on this. And it's like, well, yeah, you probably could. But I mean, with these early numbers coming in, it's not looking too promising for that. And also, like I said, that's assuming that they're spending 125 million. I mean, I personally don't think that should have spent more than that on this movie, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if to find out that they spent 200, 250, maybe close to $300 million on it. Cause that's just what studios seem to be doing these days. And if that's the case, it needs to make around 700 to $800 million uh, globally in order to be considered a success. And considering only two of the movies within the franchise have actually broken the $700 million mark, I really want to expect that from this, but Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that uh, because they probably think like, well, yeah, we've made that much on movies in the past. We can do that now. It's like, well, yeah, but these were also like part of the cultural zeitgeist at the time. I mean, people who remember back 10 years ago, I mean, these movies were huge. Everyone was talking about them. I mean, it was just like it was just everywhere. And I don't think you can recapture that with a new movie. I mean, they're trying to like almost like restoke the fire with the hunger games franchise and trying to bring it back into the cultural zeitgeist. And I don't think you can just kind of do that artificially, like what they're trying to do. So you can't expect it to make this much, but again, I mean, whether it's a success or not is really predicated on how much they spent on it. And until we actually get those numbers, I can't say whether these projections are good or bad. I mean, right now, if I was just the bet, I would say these are bad because even at the low end of what, they could have spent on this movie. These aren't necessarily the best numbers to go off of. Uh, But again, we don't know how things will go until it gets close to release and we actually learn about the budget. But one thing is for sure, I'm sure Disney is probably paying attention to this closely because in recent months, uh, Rachel Zegler has really become kind of abrasive and toxic and people are really off put by her. And since she's starring in the upcoming Snow White movie, I'm pretty sure Disney is paying attention because if this movie just completely tanks, They'd probably be reevaluating like what do they want to do with the Snow White movie because they could always just dump it onto their Disney Plus platform. They would uh, they won't make as much if they made it if it was a successful theatrical run, but they really wouldn't lose as much either as if they tried to like spend more to put it in theaters and it just completely tanks. Uh, but if this movie is a real big success, after all, if this does actually have a slow opening weekend but has a really good legs and makes around seven eight hundred million dollars on the butt and a lower budget then maybe Disney would be like, okay, well, she isn't necessarily toxic, so they could feel a little bit more confident. But I'm not really expecting that much. I do expect this movie to probably lose a bit of money, but that's just what I'm going by just with these early projections. Uh, I do reserve the right to change my opinion on this later on, but I don't think I will. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this will actually be a success, or do you think Rachel Zegler will be the one that kind of brings us down? Comment below and let me know. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.